We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 5 There was a storm. It was an accident. We had an accident. And we got stuck and we couldn't get out. We couldn't get out because of the storm. Hi! It's flooded. It's a dead end. You the manager? Officer Rose. Transporting a prisoner here. But the roads were all flooded and I could use a room. I don't think we can get out tonight. I'm not staying here. Are you out of your mind? There is no place else to go. What happened to the motel? People started dying. What's going on? Go in your room and lock your door. And then their bodies, they disappeared. Nobody in there. That's not possible. I saw what happened. We all saw what happened. This doesn't make any sense. Maybe there's some connection between all of us. Like what? It's my birthday next week. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Number four. This is no ordinary train. This is the legendary Orient Express, witness to many strange adventures and foreign intrigues. From Istanbul to Calais. This is no ordinary passenger. Monsieur Poirot is a detective. This is the world's most celebrated crime fighter. I take a professional interest in crime. Agatha Christie's brilliant Belgian detective. Oh, Belgians? I always thought you were French. Albert Finney is Detective Hercule Poirot. This is no ordinary mystery. Don't touch nothing. This is Agatha Christie's most perfect crime. Murder on the Orient Express. Starring the greatest cast of suspicious characters ever involved in murder. The murderer is with us now. You can identify the murderer? Lauren Bacall. I mean nothing of the kind. I mean there was a man in my compartment last night. Monsieur. Martin Balsam. She did it. Don't stand, not kill. Ingrid Bergman. Jacqueline Bisset. He makes it sound like a poison. Jean-Pierre Cassel. Monsieur Hercule Poirot. Sean Connery. How did you know? Beddoes. John Gielgud. Mr. Beddoes. He did it. <laughs> the butler did it. Wendy Hiller. You never smile, Madame de Francis. My doctor has advised against it. Anthony Perkins. It seems like I'm kind of incriminating myself. Vanessa Redgrave. <sighs> Not now. Not now. When it's all over, when it's behind us. Rachel Roberts. And I... Richard Whitmark. Let me show you this. Michael York. He did it. The Who's Who in the Who Done It. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to my own reconstruction of the night of the murder. Murder on the Orient Express. Number three. Think of the perfect crime. The house is empty. Have you ever actually committed a crime before? Then go one step further. This, as they say, is where 
nasty blood taken. It's a real game and a real murder. There's absolutely no point in playing another pretend game. Isn't that right? Palomar Pictures International presents. I understand you want to marry my wife. With your permission, of course. Lawrence Olivier. You may not agree with this, Inspector, but you take it from me. The shortest way to a man's heart is through humiliation. You soon find out what he's made of. Michael Caine. Why don't I just keep tapping you lightly on the head with a poker until the lump comes up? Can't make a game out of real murder. We'll see. In Joseph L. Mankiewicz's film... You're mad! You're a bloody mad man! You are a young man, dressed as a clown, about to be murdered. Of Anthony Schaffer's Tony Award-winning play, Sleuth. You actually put a gun to his head and pulled the trigger. As a game? You know the answer to that just as well as I do. We have your note summoning Mr. Tyndall here. Shots were heard. Bullet holes made. Blood is on the banisters and the carpet. His clothes were hidden in your wardrobe and he has disappeared. Who needs a body? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you appear to find this all quite so funny. I did not murder him! It's the truth. I am. <laughs> Number two. Harlan started out with a rusty Smith Corona and built himself into one of the best-selling mystery writers of all time. 30 languages, over 80 million copies sold. You guys fans? I mean, I don't do much fiction reading myself. Big but... fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Who is that guy? Uh, Mr. Blanc is a private investigator of great renown. I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. You're famous. The night of his demise, the family had gathered to celebrate your father's 85th birthday. <laughs> and your son, Ransom, did he attend as well? Yes, but he left early. I think Linda was upset. Walt would get a little Irish courage in him. He'd get into it with Harlan. What? Richard said what? Are you baiting me, detective? Attempting to be thorough so we can figure out the manner of death. You mean if someone killed him? Ah! You think one of us, one of his family, Walt, Walt killed him? Mr. Blanc, I just buried my father who committed suicide. Why are you here? I suspect foul play. I have eliminated no suspects. Harlem was cleaning house. Everyone in the family has possible motives. Was Harlan planning on cutting off Joni? Did he plan to fire Walter? Is Richard having an affair? That's some heavy-duty conjecture. Funny, Ransom, you skipped the funeral, but you're early for the will reading. Up your ass. Very nice, oh, Ransom. 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 You gotta do this more often. The family is truly desperate. When people get desperate, the knives come out. This is a twisted web. And we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. I keep waiting for the big reveal. All of them lied to me. There is one guilty party behind it all. You know something. Spill it. Oh my God. Tell me what happened to my grandfather. I think you have something you want to tell me. Number one. Witness for the prosecution. The most electrifying entertainment of our time. The stunning climax to a half century of motion picture suspense. The setting is London. The story, two people in love. A murder and a trial climaxed by the 10 most breath-stopping minutes you've ever lived. The cast, Tyrone Power, in love with a woman who holds his life in her beautiful hands. Charles Lawton, in the most scintillating role of his brilliant career. Marlena Dietrich, the woman of mystery, a fascinating question mark. 
Mrs. Fowl, do you love your husband? Leonard thinks I do. Well, do you? Am I already under oath? We are dealing with a capital crime. The prosecution will try to hang your husband. Betty, bye. We'd better go upstairs now. Get undressed and lie down. We? Oui, what a nauseating prospect. How did you get hold of these? What difference does it make so long she gets what's coming to her? What have you got against her? Ha! I'll give you something to dream about, mister. Want to kiss me, ducky? Witness for the prosecution. You killed Emily French. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't kill her. I never killed anybody. The question is, Frau Helm, were you lying then? Are you lying now? Or are you not, in fact, a chronic and habitual liar? Damn you! Damn you! Leave her alone! Damn you! Members of the jury, are you all agreed upon your verdict? We are. Do you find the prisoner at the bar, Leonard Stephen Vole, guilty or not guilty of the murder of Emily Jane French? Guilty or not guilty? The answer to that question is the end of most mystery stories. But in witness for the prosecution, it is only the beginning of a series of climaxes that I defy you to guess. You'll talk about this picture all right, but you'll never tell the ending to your friends, because you won't want to spoil their excitement and their fun. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. And for more top 5 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.